my week was really good. It was one of the best weeks of my life. Um, really? Mm hmm. It's a big statement. Yeah. Even with it was one of the best weeks of my life. I bought my mom a home. Mm. <laughs> that Not is, no little $200,000 home either. No. Nah. It was a bag. It was a bag. Um, I bought her a condo and um, she loves it. She, I surprised her. I've had this condo. I had this condo under contract for about a month and a half, maybe almost a month and a half. And um, I closed on it last Monday and I had it all week. Like every day I wanted to tell her like, okay, I got you a condo. Um, now, many of you who know my story, you know that me and my mom moved into a condo building together, but I was renting at that time. And um, some, you know, transitions are happening in life right now. And I just said, you know, this is one of my biggest dreams. I have always dreamed of buying my mom like a house and she never wants to go back to single family home lifestyle. She wants to be in a condominium. And I bought her a condo um, in the same building that we're in, which is the the tallest residential condo building in Atlanta. And she is, you know, up there in the sky. She's got the beautiful city view. Awesome. It's, a, it's huge. And I got it on Monday. Saturday, I surprised her with it. So she was kept out of the house all day on Saturday, had no clue, and escorted back into the building, thinking that she was helping to pick my dog up from the dog sitter. And I and my daughter were there. We Hold on, where it. was she staying now? Where was she, where was she living now? Still in the condo, yes? Yeah, she's, <laughs> she was in the building on the lower floor and I was renting it. Got you, got you. Yeah, so she is always, my mom never really wants to be a burden to me. And she always says things like, um, you know, she doesn't work, she's retired. So she always says things like, well, you have to, you know, build your own life. And, you know, I try to make her understand that building my life is, she's a part of that, right? My mom is single, she's a part of that. And she doesn't force that on me. That's something that I've chosen to do. And so she always says, like, I know you want to do X, Y, and Z. So I plan to move into something that I can pay for myself. And I just always laugh, like, girl, me and you both know I'm not letting that happen. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where would you go? <laughs> and um, one of the things that's important to me is I was preparing to move out of the building. I just wanted to make sure my mom was somewhere where she was safe and I didn't have to worry. This is my first time. This will be, we, this will be my first time not living within like a five minute distance from my mom in probably 15 years. Mm. So I was moving a little further away and I just wanted my mom to be straight. So I bought the condo. So I know that you know, where, when I was renting, you don't know that owner may decide to sell or they may go up on the rent. Just things I don't have to deal with anymore. And she was just so surprised. I furnished it. So I bought her some new wow. furniture and um, it was it was definitely. Oh, Ariel was in on it. Ariel was in on it. Um, oh. Oh, how, was on it? <laughs> how come I wasn't in on it? You were out of town. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. It was the most awesome surprise ever. So her mom was on my podcast and I got a chance to talk really? to her. Yeah, I got to what? talk to Ms. Denise about her journey being your mom. And I can't wait for you to see the footage. Yay. She, she cried almost like five minutes in. It was really dope. She wow. had no clue what we were doing. So it was amazing. Yeah, I had wow. to figure out how I would keep her out of the building because remember I bought her and I bought her a bigger condo in the same building that we're already in. So I had to keep her out of the building because she could intercept me on the elevator. Right. So I called, I, I had interviewed on Ariel's show a few weeks ago and I called Ariel and I said, I need you to uh, interview my mom. I'm going to tell her that we're doing like, we're getting some documentary footage and I need you to hold her for some hours and just have this conversation. Like, I knew if it was something important, she would be gone and she would show up. And I'm like, as soon as she leaves and they're done, I need you to um, let me know. And Kenny actually escorted her to interview with Ariel. And I'm like, we're going to go ahead and do Kenny's interview the same day so that they're in there all day oh, so doing cool. these um, podcasts. And then he took her out for like a date, you know, the rest of the time. And then they came back and we had to figure out how do we get her to not go to her floor? So I told her, hey, I need you to help him get the dog from the dog walker. Concierge is going to give him a hard time getting to the dog walker's floor. But if you, you know, go because you're already a resident in the building, they won't give you a hard time. So 
He's knocking on the door. He's knocking on the door. My mom's outside the door. Like, I think we're at the wrong unit. <laughs> and I open the door. Deja, my daughter's in the background with the camera. And um, she, I open the door. My mom's like, I thought we were picking up the dog. And I'm like, nobody's picking up the dog. <laughs> and she's like, what's going on? And I'm like, come in. Her living room is the same. I had all her furniture packed up. Like, they left the house oh. at 8 o'clock in the morning. I went downstairs, 8.30. I went downstairs to her unit. I packed up her whole house, had the movers come, and I moved everything. And I had the movers like, yo, we got to have this done by five. We got to have this done by five. And then, I, I, you know, the unit's bigger, so I got furniture for the rest of it. But she came in and she looked and she sees her living room stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's like, what is this? And so she's thinking that I have rented a bigger unit in the building. And so she looks around. She's like, this is gorgeous. This is amazing. And I played her this video that I had done. I had been documenting the process the whole time. And it was maybe 10 minutes in that she realized, like, we owned it now. Wow. And she just, like, bawling with tears. But that was definitely a top three bucket list thing for me. Like, to be able mm. to pay your mom back, right? To be able to contribute to a person who is so responsible for so much of your being, your growth and your success. Like it was something I had to do. And I just couldn't sit in this success and have these things for myself and my mom not have clarity on her future. So she's retired. We own the condo now. And I know that those are two things. She never has to go back to work again. And we never have to move out of another place like she's good. And that is a lifelong dream for me. That is amazing. Yeah.